Greg Shapiro, United States of Europe, and you may have noticed that I have been recording outside the studio lately, and that is because I have been funding the United States of Europe. And by that, I mean selling my soul for corporate events. Now, as luck would have it, not all corporate events are evil and bad. For example, fake you very much. Fake you very much. Started out as an anti-Trump fundraising event for the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union. Donations for the ACLU have gone up like 4,000%. They have put on their website, please don't give us your money. There are many other worthy causes. One of the causes, the one we chose, was She Decides, the Dutch initiative to counteract the Trump global abortion gag order, basically to provide female health care for women around the globe. And my favorite thing about volunteering for a fundraising event is that when some chicky babe in a bright red jacket comes up to me on the street and says, would you like to donate to the Salvation Army? I can say, huh, would you like to donate to my fundraising event? Here's a flyer. And mostly they cancel each other out. Also last week, I took part in the Next Web, the biggest tech conference in Europe with Pep Rosenfeld, and we had Donald Trump call in for a special talk on internet security. Basically, we had Trump just give away a bunch of top secret intelligence. It was developed by a country in the Middle East. I'm not allowed to mention them by name, but let's just say they're Jews. This week I spoke at a conference called Feeding the Future by a Dutch animal feed company called Nutreco, and their challenge is feeding an entire planet full of soon to be 9.7 billion people who more and more want to eat like Americans. Um, um, more meat, please. If only there could be more vegetarians. Well, now there can. For example, did you know that for every kilo of salmon that ends up on the dinner table, it takes five kilos of raw fish to feed them? Unless you can use a protein supplement derived from plants. So no, we can't force the global population to go vegetarian, but we can force farm-fed salmon to go vegan. And since one of the requirements of being vegan is to let the world know, um, by the way, I'm vegan and fish can't speak for themselves, I was happy to do the job. And finally, for the Speaking Locally event, I was there with a speaker who has a really cool initiative. If you've ever been to Amsterdam, you'll know that there's a huge eyesore just on the edge of town. It is the big coal burning power station. Of course, Amsterdam needed the power plant to provide power and enormous amounts of big ashy clouds. As it turns out, local utility Nuon is considering selling the power plant to, I don't know, the highest bidder. And there's a citizen's initiative to buy the power plant and make sure that it stops being a power plant. They want to turn it into uh, a park or an amusement park or a chocolate factory. This being Amsterdam, that could mean either a gay-themed industrialized techno dance club or an actual chocolate factory. There's a crowdfunding site where they've already hit like 85% of their goal. If you want the link, I will put it down below, wijwillenhemweg.nl. So yes, I'll try to get back into the studio soon, but for now, signing off from today's backstage at the Van Gogh Museum. Hey,